Hi everyone, this is JD with the Solid Ed Unified School District Tech Department. I'm here today to give you some troubleshooting tips on how to resolve the issue where students get stuck on a loading screen when they're taking their CASP test. I can't show you that loading screen here because I can't replicate it, but you'll know it when you see it. The student will be stuck on a white screen with a loading symbol and they won't be able to move any further. Uh, so when you see this, what you want to do is reboot the iPad and we're going to force reboot it. And to do that, we press and hold the home button and the sleep wake button. We hold these together and we wait for the iPad to reboot. And we're going to keep holding them until we see the Apple logo. Once we see the Apple logo, we can let go. Now, once the iPad reboots, it's going to automatically go back into the secure test app and it will lock there. It'll be a white screen. It will look like it's doing nothing. Uh, we have to be patient and wait, and it will eventually time out. At that point, we'll, we will be able to leave the app, delete it, and reinstall it. And I'll show you that now. So let's imagine the iPad just rebooted. It's gone back into the secure test app. We wait about a minute or so, and it will time out. Once it's timed out, we press that home button. It'll take us here and we want to close the secure test app, we double press the home button and close everything that's open. Now we find that app, there it is, and we want to delete it. Tap and hold on the app, choose remove app, choose delete app, and choose delete. Now it's gone. Now what we want to do is re-download it, so that way we get a fresh new version of the app. So I'm going to find the Meraki SM app right there. I'm going to verify that I have the three green check marks and the red X. Then I'm going to tap on apps in the bottom right. Once I'm here, I'm going to search for the secure test browser app. I found mine right here. You may find it down below and missing because technically it is missing, but the iPad still thinks it's installed. doesn't matter. We know it's gone. So I'm going to tap the cloud icon. And once I do that, I just press the home button and we'll wait for it to install. It could take a minute or more for it to start downloading, but once it starts downloading, it's pretty quick. So let's give it a second. And there it goes. Downloads pretty fast. And now that's done, we can open it back up and log the student back into the test. This should be used on an as needed basis. Don't try to go to all your iPads and do this to all of them. Just when the student hits that loading screen and it does not want to move forward, go ahead and try these steps and hopefully it'll help. It's another tool in your tool belt rather than waiting for us to show up to do this. So if you, but if you need anything, please submit a tech request and we'll be by to help you as soon as possible. All right, thanks, have a good day.